Hello YouTubers Reloading Bench back with you once again and this weekend project is going to be making a ground for my generator and I'll show you what I purchased that I thought was a, a decent purchase and then I realized that uh, wasn't worth the cost uh, tax and everything about $30 for an 18 inch uh, not quite I think it was 3 8 inch ground and I have in front of you two ground clamps and a 96 inch 5 8 inch rod that I can make into almost five of the 18 inch rods from the rainforest and the reason I'm doing this is because I picked this cable up to attach to the generator to charge or rather to power my welder as well as my uh, plasma cutters uh, at greater than 115 volt. So uh, I'm going to cut this into probably three rods that are significantly uh, larger in diameter and longer in length than what the rainforest had. Uh, this rod was $19 and these were $3 each. So between the rod and the two clamps, uh, I'm into it about what I paid for an 18 inch, uh, 3 8 inch rod from the rainforest, which uh, came with only four feet of uh, grounding cable, which is just, just not enough. So I ordered some more grounding cable and some uh, uh, ground lugs so that I could attach to these ground clamps. So I'm going to cut this with my Harbor Freight cut saw cutter cutter thing thing later. All right, grinding wheel grinding to a halt. Last few rotations. And we have three rods. Uh, I cut from each end. So this was one end. This was the other end, which didn't quite have as pronounced a head as this one so I simulated that on the grinder this one all I did was uh, soften the edges on both ends uh, just a tad bit so I will not be using this one immediately but I will be putting these two to work so let me throw the ground clamps on and we'll be done all right I'm not going to say that the Chinesium version that I returned from the rainforest uh, was not UL listed but uh, this particular Ground rod is UL listed, and it's made in Harrisburg, North Carolina, by copper, copper clad uh, by Galvin Industries. Uh, and the ground rod clamps are made in India, so we have zero Chinesium here tonight. Zero Chinesium. All the Chinesium went back to the rainforest. All right, so this is the bottom. That means this is the top. And that's kind of how that will go. Uh, and once my ground wire and my lug show up, I'll attach those. One down. And uh, I'm going to bust out the calipers, uh, this is the other one, and make sure that this is in fact 5 8 because it seems a little small. It seems uh, quite roomy. Um, maybe these are half inch. Back in a minute. According to my math, 5 8 is 0.625 so we're zeroed and we're on inches let's see yeah it's 0.5 it's bigger than half inch 0.543 but it's it's shy of eh, 0 0.569 0 0.57 it's not 0.625 Let's see how much 0.625 is around there. It's, yeah, it's, it's not 5 eighths. It's closer to half inch. So I'm wondering if the half inch, uh, I'm going to leave this as is. Um, 
just because it's not worth fighting over that or changing that out. And uh, this will get staked into the ground. And this is my spare for whatever reason. And we're going to call this nearly done. And once the wire and the lugs come, I'll add that and then we'll, uh, we'll publish later. Hello, YouTubers Reloading Bench back to you once again. And we have the missing pieces to the to be able to complete the grounding rod. So my local store had this times three for 20 bucks. So I can make the equivalent of three of these rods, which I made two in the previous video, two outfitted with the grounding lug. And what we have here is the grounding wire, 12 gauge, grounding wire and I will I'll save this because this is probably what I'll spool it against and this is 25 feet and uh, here's the lugs uh, the copper wire lugs and I will see which one is most appropriate for uh, this particular size nut Figures that had to be had to be on there tighty tight tight. What was I thinking? All right, so we'll figure out what makes sense. And what I thought is funny is you go to places like a local hardware store. And you'll pay like three bucks for two of these or five bucks for two of them. And then you go online and you get a 160 piece set, which I'm sure they're including each one of these uh, Mongos as part of the, uh, each one of these is part of the 160. So all of the, uh, the shrink wire. So uh, let's see what we've got. Um, me thinks something like that. Yep, that'll work. That will work. And let me grab my my fancy schmancy wire stripper. Love this thing. All right, so we're going to strip a bunch because what we will do, copper tinned, what we will do let me grab some pliers. What we will do is double that. And I'll put this on. I don't know if I'll actually use it. And I've got a tool. I've got a crimper, but I don't know if this will actually work. Maybe use the ignition terminal version. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure that will do anything. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to need to be just uh, my my BF, 
my brute force. But I'm going to trim this a little. Just a little bit. It's amazing how shit doesn't work when you need it to. Cutters that don't cut. Cutters that do not cut. All right, let's see if I can I can get that to uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me I'm doing this wrong. Get a good grippy grip. And I'll probably put that in the uh, in the uh, vise to give it a more thorough clamp. Back in a minute. All right. Yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere. So let us see if this works. Let me cover this so I don't accidentally heat them up. to say that's good all right so I'll do the same with the other side um, the other side being uh, the side that'll probably go to the generator the generator also has a particular mount so I will find the, the right size for the generator uh, I'll probably throw a picture of that up right about now and uh, put this back together and see what we have. Okay, so there we have uh, homemade, hopefully the camera is picking that up okay, homemade uh, grounding rod. And like I said, the other end will go to the generator, and I'll take a picture of that one done. And we're going to call this kind of a wrap. All right, here's the generator and here is the ground. So I will find the appropriate size lug for that. So naturally I had to bring out a ton of wrenches because this back bolt wanted to move, but it looks like uh, this one's the, this one will be the winner. So we will connect that. And that's at about 18 inches deep. So I think that will, uh, that will be fine. So we will call this done. Uh, 25 feet of ground cable, grounding cable. 
and it is now permanently mounted to the generator. I'll drive two stakes into the ground. One, uh, one will be in the front of the house and one will be in the backyard. And uh, this is a wrap. Later.